Unlocking English. Formatting lists with colons made easy. Hello learners. Welcome to another session where we unravel the beauty of English grammar. Today, we are going to talk about an important punctuation mark, the colon. Specifically, we will focus on how we use colons to format lists in our sentences. You'll soon see how a tiny mark can bring so much clarity and structure to our writing. Colons are versatile punctuation marks used to introduce explanations, elaborations, and, importantly for our discussion today, lists. You can think of a colon as a signpost, pointing out what's coming next in the sentence. For example, I bought three things from the store, bread, milk, and eggs. In this sentence, the colon introduces a list of items bought from the store. It makes the sentence clear and concise. Now, let's dive deeper into how we format lists with colons. In English writing, colons can introduce both horizontal and vertical lists. The rules for both are straightforward. Horizontal lists. Horizontal lists are included within the flow of a sentence. We use commas to separate items in the list, as in the previous example. I need to buy apples, oranges, and bananas. In this sentence, the colon is followed by a space. Then the list items are introduced with lowercase letters and separated by commas. Vertical lists. Vertical lists, on the other hand, are particularly useful when you have a series of items that are lengthy or need to stand on their own for clarity. Each item is usually on a new line and may be either numbered or bulleted. The seminar will cover three topics. 1. The importance of good nutrition. 2. Exercise and mental health. 3. Sleep and productivity. Here, the colon introduces a numbered vertical list. Each item begins with a capital letter, as each one is a complete sentence. While it's true that colons are often used to introduce lists, they can also be used within the list items themselves, often to introduce sublists or additional information. Let's look at an example. The packing list contains three categories of items. Clothes, such as shirts, pants, and jackets, food, like canned goods, bread, and water, and camping gear, including a tent, sleeping bag, and lantern. In this complex sentence, we use the colon to introduce the list, and semicolons to separate the main items in the list. Commas are then used to separate the items within each sublist. It's like we've neatly packed our sentence with several smaller lists. And that wraps up our session on using colons to format lists. We've seen how this handy punctuation mark can help us introduce and structure our lists, making our writing clear and organized. Practice these rules in your everyday writing, and you'll be a colon master in no time. We hope you found this session useful, and as always, keep learning, keep growing.